Welcome to your Choose Your Own Adventure text game tutorial. In this series of videos, I'm going to show you a more advanced way of making a Choose Your Own Adventure narrative um, than the way that we did in the first semester, which just used if statements. But by the end of the tutorial series, you should be able to have uh, a fully interactive narrative, possibly with additional things such as health or items, um, so that it can add a little bit more interest to the gameplay. So if you're not sure what these are, um, it is a branching tree of choices that you offer the user. Um, these slides come from a text game called Castaway, which you can actually look if you do a Google search for Castaway, choose your own adventure. Um, but you can see here in the upper left, can you survive the shipwreck on a desert island? And then there's some text and you click start. And so on the next screen is where you actually have your first choice. Um, you could go into the jungle or climb a hill. And then depending on which option you choose, it takes you to a different part of the story. So there are several unfolding possibilities and you only get to choose one. So if you go to the jungle, now you have another set of choices. You can go towards animal noises or away. But instead, if you choose to climb the hill, now you've got a set of choices in that direction as well. You could fire a rescue flare or fire a pistol to attract the ship's attention. The usual approach to programming something like this would be to use if statements. And we did something like this in the first semester. Um, so you could have the introduction to your game be a print statement. Um, in my version, we have a path to the left or the right. And then you have the user make a choice. And then you have if statements. If they chose left, then it's like you're moving towards one path in this tree of possibilities. And it would print you see a waterfall. But if they chose the other path, it would print you see an ogre. The problem with this way of structuring the game is it very, very quickly becomes unwieldy. Here's what it would look like the next level down. If I'd chosen the green path where I see a water, uh, where I choose left, I see a waterfall, and then I have two choices, try and go behind it or keep going. And so now I have two more if statements to figure out which choice the user made from the green text. And that would lead to two other possible parts of the story, blue or tan, which you see down here, blue and tan. And then from each of those, you'd probably have two more. So you'd have if statements inside of if statements inside of if statements inside of if statements. Um, and very quickly, this becomes difficult to think about and difficult to organize, particularly if you want to add other elements to the game, like if you want one of these story points to go backwards or to go to some other part of the story. So we'll start off reviewing how to do the game with if statements, but very quickly we'll restructure it and I'll show you a much more flexible way of organizing a completely general way of connecting a bunch of story points to each other um, using objects. So let's get into it.